Welcome to our lecture online. Our next special case looks kind of strange. How can we factor that? How can we use the quadratic formula to solve something like this? Or maybe we can even factor it. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, but first we need to make the proper substitution. And if we make the following substitution, let u equal, and of course we're going to put the word let, let u equal x to the one third. And now when we square both sides, we can say u squared equals x to the two-thirds. And notice we can now make the proper substitution in here. So this becomes 2u squared, because x to the two-thirds is now u squared, minus x to the one-third is u, minus 1 equals 0. And now we have something that definitely does look like a quadratic equation. We can probably factor that, so let's try it. So we're going to have two binomials equals 0. We need a 2u and a u. We need a positive and a negative. How about a negative 1 and a positive 1? Because when I multiply, I get negative 1. And when I add a negative 2 and a positive 1, I get a negative 1. So because of this, I can say that 2u plus 1 equals 0 or u minus 1 equals 0. So in this case, we have 2u equals negative 1 or u equals negative 1 half. In this case, or u equals 1. So those are the two possibilities for u. They're both valid solutions to this quadratic equation, but we weren't looking for u, we're looking for x. So now we need to make the substitution back. We can say that x to the one-third is equal to minus one-half, or x to the one-third is equal to 1. This is easy. If I cube both sides, what do I get? I get x is equal to 1 cubed, which is equal to 1. So that's one possible solution. In this case, I can say that x is equal to minus 1 half cubed. And of course, that would then be equal to minus 1 over 8. So the two possible solutions are x equals negative 1 8 or x equals positive 1. They're both valid solutions, so those are the answer to our original equation. And that is how it's done. Uh, 12 of 8. 